Now to the latest on former President Donald Trump's criminal trial in Manhattan. Trump is facing felony charges related to an alleged 2016 hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Yeah, this marks the first time in history a former U.S. president has been tried on criminal charges. ABC's Morgan Norwood is in New York with the latest as jury selection comes to a close. A jury of 12. Seven men and five women have now been sworn in to decide the outcome of the first criminal trial of a former president. They include an investment banker who follows Donald Trump on social media, a speech therapist who says she does not agree with a lot of his politics, a school teacher who said she admires how President Trump speaks his mind, and a woman in product development who says, I don't like his persona, how he presents himself in public. All of them pledged to give Trump a fair shake. Together, the jurors will decide whether Trump is guilty of falsifying business records related to a hush money payment so voters in the 2016 presidential election would not find out about an alleged affair with adult film actress Stormy Daniels, which Trump denies. He's pleaded not guilty. As he entered the courtroom Friday, Trump sounding off about the judge's limited gag order on the case, which prohibits Trump from making statements about witnesses, jurors, and individual prosecutors in the case other than D.A. Bragg. Lawyers have also been going back and forth over whether Trump violated that gag order by posting on social media about witnesses, prosecutors refusing to reveal who their first witnesses are, fearing Trump would only verbally attack them. The gag order has to come off. I should be allowed to speak. Every time I come out to speak to you, I want to be open because we did absolutely nothing wrong. Today, the court will work to seat five more alternate jurors before opening statements and weeks of testimony, likely starting sometime next week. They've just got to find these five alternate jurors. They've got to deal with some pretrial issues in particular, for example. How much can the prosecution cross-examine Donald Trump if he actually takes the witness stand? That's a hearing that they have to deal with as well. And former President Trump's campaign continues to fundraise off of this New York criminal trial. In a fundraising email blasted today, Trump is telling his supporters about an emergency press conference he's holding, saying, I've been fully gagged, but now I'm speaking out. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.